In this video, I'd like to talk about the major components of the overhead distribution line. And in this video, we can see the three main components, which is basically the wooden poles, where you have the whole structure built on. We have the conductors, and we have the insulators, which is basically between the conductors and the wooden poles. Now, in the rest of this video, I would like to talk about other components and, and I will leave in the video description links to the details of these components. This is a load brick switch. This is used basically to connect, disconnect part of the feeder in the distribution network based on the need of the utility. This is a recloser that is used to protect the whole feeder from any short circuit that can occur in the line. This is a single phase pole mounted transformer that is used to step down the voltage from the primary voltage level to the secondary voltage level. And we can see here the two forms of protection for the transformer. The first one is the surge arrestor that is connected in parallel with the bushing. This is to protect the transformer from any over voltage due to lightning or switching and this is the cutout fuse that is used to protect the transformer from any overload or short circuit this is a three phase pole mounted transformers and unlike single phase pole mounted transformers that is used to feed residential load those are used to feed commercial buildings cable termination sometimes we transfer the energy from the overhead lines to underground cables to pole mounted transformers. And these also are protected using a cutout fuse and surge arrestor. Some support insulators to, provi to provide insulation between different overhead lines from touching each other. These are the critter guards, which is the protector of the lines from any animal. This is another design of the critter guard that is also used to protect the overhead lines from animals. 